Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual guidance reading for the collective for March 2nd of 2023. For this reading, I've been guided to the Gilded Tarot deck by Giro Marchetti and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding today, the day of March 2nd of 2023. So, in the center of the reading, we have the King of Swords energy. So, spirit, if you are an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, this could be just spirit confirming uh, that they want to talk to you. Now, there could be someone here who is thinking about and or is connecting uh, with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or is thinking about someone who's in a leadership position, someone who's very clear and to the point. All right, so we do have the justice energy representing marriage commitment partnership. So some air signs, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini may be thinking about a deeper commitment uh, with someone else here. So in the relationship sector, we have the King of Wands energies, a very passionate energy, uh, someone who may have fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. I noticed that both the King of Swords and the King of Wands are looking somewhere in the direction over here. I think someone here is thinking about passion and excitement, marriage, commitment, partnership, but they're a little bit indecisive. So Spirit is saying take off that blindfold and create balance in your life. Get clear with yourself about what you desire at this time. There could be someone thinking about something in relation to uh, justice. Now, in the creative aspects position, we have another major arcana. So we have two major arcanas out of four cards, Justice and the Hierophant. So because the Hierophant is in the creative aspects position, this is indeed someone who is contemplating the creation of a marriage commitment partnership contract, uh, the creation of this next chapter in their life. I almost feel like this passionate masculine energy is looking over at marriage, but look at the expression on his face. So in the actions position, there is this indecision about do I have enough? Am I open to uh, a person, place, circumstance, situation? We have a feminine uh, holding a child, looking over at this masculine, but the masculine is taking off his hat and he wants to help the feminine in some way or maybe even talk about uh, something, a next chapter here. So we have some who are either air or fire. So we've got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sag, Aries, or Leo, passionate energy, trying to decipher, should I open my heart to a new chapter here? Wow, so in the emotional aspects position, um, there's some passion here. Now the King of Swords is looking over at the passionate energy, trying to decipher what to do with this. Am I passionate about marriage commitment partnership? Am I ready to create the next chapter in my life? Now, with the Hermit Energies in the Creative Aspects position, with the King of Wands, this is a great time to get passionate about what you're creating in this next year of 2023. This is a number seven year, so whatever you put your passionate energy into or who, Spirit's saying there will be triumph in the end. So worry not about what action steps to take or when you need to take them is the spiritual advice. So in the subconscious position, we have what showed up quite a bit yesterday during the live YouTube podcast, the Two of Cups. So many of the collective are like, I know what I want when it comes to a connection uh, with someone else here. Uh, there is a connection that feels as though it is ebbing, ebbing and flowing. Uh, I am feeling very passionate, but I'm a little bit indecisive about where this is going. 
there could be two, there could be a feminine here who, again, is thinking about two different people, this air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and or this passionate energy of the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, trying to decipher which one is their soulmate. There could be some air signs right now who are feeling like, I'm sorry, earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, who are feeling like you're unsure of whether you can open your heart to someone or whether or not someone's going to open their heart to you, right? But it's about a deeper commitment. It's about connecting in the area of the soul. So day to day, we have this quick and unexpected action taking place. Wow. For some of you, you know, there could be an unexpected uh, commitment, maybe a, a, a ring that is like a promise ring or communication here about what, where things are headed. And it may show up unexpectedly. Now we do have a masculine looking over at the Hierophant, which could represent Taurus, trying to decipher if you're getting enough from that connection. But again, um... Uh, what I'm feeling is there's a lot of passion, but there's a little bit of indecision about where this is headed. And it could be that today on March 2nd, someone comes towards you to explain what they're passionate about, to have a deeper conversation, or they start to open up their heart a little bit more. Now, in the inner strengths position, we have someone who is either a difficult child, a acting like a child, um communicating some form of truth. What is the truth regarding this air energy with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles of what someone here has to offer? Because maybe someone new is coming in. If not today on Friday over the weekend. So in a three-card summary with the same Gilded Tarot deck, we've got the Fool. So someone is definitely contemplating the manifestation of a brand new path and the moon. Indecision about whether or not someone has the king of cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, whose heart is open, who has evolved to the king of water where their emotions are balanced. Because some are feeling like they're stuck or trapped in a connection to an air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or just trapped in general. And someone else here is saying, I want to have a good time. I'm thinking about the past. I'm thinking about my investments. I'm thinking about my money. I'm hoping that there is a wish come true here with the star card representing someone who may have Aquarius in their chart. We also have death energy of Scorpio. So what this is meaning with these two cards is a wish could come true or someone's deciphering is someone going to communicate something where something is going to uh, grow and develop or should I bring an end? to a situation. Look at that. So the six of pentacles is the, the uh, observation, a process of observation of whether or not a connection is balanced. So spirits really blessing the collective uh, today on March 2nd with this beautiful hermit energy, Virgo type energy, able to kind of go deep and think about what's on offer here. Yes, if you're feeling like you don't have enough money in the area of business, Spirit's giving you the strength to send out that CV, that resume, to uh, share your abilities with a business or organization. Because there are some here who are like, you know what, there was a path that fulfilled me for a period of time, but now I'm walking away. I'm choosing between one or two. Sagittarius feels like for some, uh, one path has ended and it has been a long and difficult path, but now uh, it's time to move forward more playfully. So I do feel like someone is finally deciding, you know what, this feminine here, her heart is open. She is a very spiritual, caring, loving, giving, nurturing energy. She's very intuitive and I'm deciding that yes, indeed, I want to go playfully into the direction of this person. 
So Spirit's saying we're giving you the strength of two major arcanas, the High Priestess and the Judgment card, to make the highest, best decision at this time. So the Judgment card has, again, been a very common card as of late. Yes, and so have these two. No matter how hard I shuffle, we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So two people coming together that are indeed soulmates. So Spirit's saying, remember, there is a soulmate connection here where both of you uh, will move forward in a stable and secure manner with a beautiful foundation. But it's almost like the feminine more so with the Empress energy is trying to decipher what she wants to give birth to. This could be a masculine as well, but this is someone whose heart is open to nurturing, more of a feminine energy. Am I going into the direction of fantasy and illusion? What do I want? There could be two or three younger kids involved because now we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Water. So a child who has Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in their chart, maybe Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Air, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah, looking at a situation and Spirit saying, kind of take your time in the first half of the day to kind of observe. Is this a wish come true? <clears throat> yeah, there's fear with the devil energy that something is passionate, but has it grown from a passionate situation into something deeper <clears throat> spiritually? So even by the end of the day, there's a lot of attention and recognition and passion, like with the lover's energy representing Gemini, but this is also uh, being served up with the Four of Cups. Like, is this cup an empty offer? Because I could open myself to different offers. Do I want to fight this battle or do I want to move on into the direction of something better? So if this is work right now, Spirit saying, yeah, you've outgrown one path. A new doorway is going to open. Keep on keeping on for eventually you're going to be giving yourself a pat on the back and going into the direction of a new offer, a better offer, an offer that you are passionate about. So now's the time to manifest with another major arcana in the form of the magician so that you can lay down an old path that weighs heavy upon some of you. We have a lot of Leos kind of moving around these days. We've got the strength and the sun. So another two major arcanas, big things kind of coming to mind or taking place today. The strength to receive attention and recognition. And if you are conflicted about what action steps to take, if someone is being a little bit cold or closed off, if you are conflicted about, is this going to grow into more? Because someone here is not taking action because they fear that where they are now is not going to grow. But slowly but surely, I think Spirit's saying, hang in there. Because for many, there is going to be this very popular Ten of Cups. This happily ever after energy. With a passionate masculine who's focused on passion, yes. But who is also thinking about commitments, partnerships, and contracts. All right, so I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with the Gypsy Oracle deck. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, for the collective on March 2nd of 2023. Yeah, so we've got this old woman energy, male or female, with the King of Swords saying, you know what, I've been here, I've done this, I've learned, I've evolved, and now I am uh, hoping in my thoughts position for a service, a business, an organization, a church, going to the courthouse, but to go into a direction <clears throat> of a deeper connection or partnership. For in the relationship sector, we have the passionate King of Wands, Sagittarius Leo type energy, who is going through a very spiritual transformation. So for many, there is something going on in the relationship sector. And I think Spirit's saying, if you're unsure as to where something is headed, uh, trust that you have grown and evolved spiritually. Trust that now is a great time to create a new chapter in the area of money and abundance. So what is it you are creating that is bringing fortune and stability, peace and joy? Again, with the blindfold, we got the blindfold in the thoughts position with justice, legal paperwork, signing on the dotted line, and the blindfold when it comes to not looking at a fortunate direction. I think someone is uh, hoping that a new chapter will be more abundant in relation to a passionate masculine. But there's definitely a need to kind of kick back and observe, uh, maybe throughout the day. Because now by the end of the day, we still have this thought type energy 
and that's where the five of pentacles lies so i do feel like there are some earth energies who are like okay i need to stop thinking about when this communication is going to come i need to uh, focus on uh, i think all that i've learned so that i can avoid these energies of sorrow yeah, for some there may be a very passionate connection that takes place or that has before march 2nd here and now there is a realization that passion and lust in the past brought sorrow. And now it's like I can create a service, a business, an organization, a new chapter of abundance for myself. And if somebody doesn't know what they want here, I need to kind of let them go through this transformation. It's like I know that this is the right partnership contract. I'm just waiting to see if they know. So there's someone who's definitely very woke here. They know what a soul connection feels like. And they're really focused on the enemy energies of lies and deception. So Spirit's saying, if you're feeling sorrowful, if you're fearing you can't trust someone, Spirit's saying, you know, don't give in to the lust of the flesh. Uh, focus on love, which is patience and kindness. And trust that someone here is going through a transformation and are learning about themselves so that they can get to the spiritual level that you are at. Again, for others with the blindfold and the fortune card and the creative aspects position and the hierophant card, it is indeed time to get out and research what else could be on offer for you. If you feel like you're not making enough money, uh, the thought card isn't about action in the actions position. It's about uh, overthinking. So there is a nudge to communicate. If this is a business or organization, ask for a raise, seek out what else could come your way because uh, we do have spirits saying eventually with the aid of wands energies, there is going to come some form of gifts, kind words, and messages. So someone's thinking, is this a fortunate connection? Is this a fortunate direction? Is this the service business or organization I want to sign on the dotted line with? So Spirit's giving you the strength to ask some more questions here so that you can decipher an outcome that is best for you. So we do have the Lord showing up in the inner strengths position, the ability to have a conversation here, to talk to someone who is in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure. So in a three-card summary with the Gypsy Oracle deck, we have the beautiful pleasure seeker energy, getting out, having a good time. And then what happens? We've been talking a lot about people showing up from the past. So we have the reunion card. And now I am bored and discontent. I'm feeling a little bit alone. I am finding that I'm rather surprised at someone's behavior here. I could journey into the direction of despair or I can focus on me. Enjoy my friends, my family, and trust that when a passionate connection comes towards me, maybe you're getting out and having fun with someone later in the day on March 2nd, uh, there could be uh, a conversation with someone, but that person is carrying the cat energies of falseness. So Spirit's saying focus on fortune and abundance and new financial directions, creative ideas, start a small business on the side because it is through the profits and additional abundance in your life where you're going to not only heal, but you're going to recognize that there is an ending or that there was an ending to a misfortunate situation. Someone here waiting on a wife energy of love, researching, kind of sighing in awe, wanting faithfulness from someone, recognizing how far you come and here come conversations of fun and cheerfulness and passion but there is a, a desire for some to communicate about marriage commitment and partnership yeah see someone may be feeling stuck in this prison with the priest energy of trying to decide what is in your highest best good yep so you're going to have the strength of the foe and the death card to bring a situation to an end if it this passionate situation brings sorrow more than it brings emotional fulfillment right continue to have hope if you need to put someone in the friend zone for now fine that person's going through a very spiritual transformation connect out with new people definitely in the area of a service business or organization it is during march 2nd where communication is going to <clears throat> 
help bring clarity about someone who's walking in their ego. There's a passionate feminine who maybe wants to start a situation or is coming to the realization of I've learned with the old woman energy. There were sly, cunning, manipulative behaviors involving a child or children, and now I'm just looking towards a new beginning so I can be free from the lust of the flesh, the sorrow, the lies and deception. I'm letting go of thinking about that so that positive things can come my way. So I'm going to close with a message from the guardian angel deck by Dorian Virtue. Uh, should these messages have resonated for you and or you would just like your own personal general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. That is a one-month reading as well. Closing message for the collective on March 2nd, please. Four of Action. This has been a really common card for the collective and in many personal readings. The Four of Wands card says, Your hard work and your sincere efforts at this time are going to lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. Then you can enjoy a break. Enjoy the magnificent life that you are creating for yourself. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event, to buy a new home. So some may be looking at working with a business in the area of uh, legal paperwork with the justice and the service card going away from what was into the direction of greater fortune and abundance, researching a gift that is on offer, an opportunity, freeing yourself from the sorrow of the past. So as you create a beautiful, solid foundation of safety, contentment, and financial security, Spirit's saying what's going to come after that is some really positive recognition. Or positive recognition is showing up that makes you recognize that your hard work and efforts are paying off. So Spirit's saying congratulations with an exclamation mark here. Your, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it is time for you to shine. Brilliant new ideas are going to present themselves to you and success is all but assured. So express yourself at this time very openly and honestly knowing That those surrounding you at this time are trustworthy, right? New people are coming in. They're trustworthy and spirit saying, be open to unexpected opportunities, a gift of fortune. All right. So I want to say a big thank you for your likes or shares and your subscribes to those of you who have come to me for month to month readings to those of you have who have been gifting these readings to others. That's been a lot of fun. Thank you so very much as well for your donations. Take care and God bless.